Hey guys, it's me again, Orcs Lerodifs. Where we last left off, let's see, check, check, checking. Where we last left off on what if Deku was Killer Croc, that's Samson Yawning. Go back to sleep, boy. Where we last left off, uh, Deku, Deku had calmed down from his freak out about Sludge being, you know, part of the League of Villains. Had to explain to him, oh, had explained to him in the episode, in the thing beforehand. Oh! Alright, anyways. He and Suyu went out, went to a pool, swam around for a bit, floated for a bit, and they, like, talked to a couple of other girls. Uh, stop. No! Anyways. To continue on, eventually it gets around to the time where they meet their classes, and Deku actually talks with Todoroki about training, after getting his dad to bring him to get Endeavor to agree to a meeting. That way they could talk about how agencies and certain things are run within that. It was a lie. Somewhat of a lie. It was to, so that way Deku get, could get Todoroki outside of school. So that way he wouldn't have to... You know, y not use, but it would be able to somewhat talk to him and get him to understand and Deku and Todoroki do talk a bit and they agree to train together a bit about harnessing their powers and such Deku decides hey quit trying to lick my face Deku decides that this will be a great way to help Todoroki chip away at whatever insecurities or whatever he has it's what he's figuring out so as we go to just, I'll just have one training session, like well, the one in the middle. They've had a couple of them by this point, but there's still a little bit of time left before the U.S. not U.S.J., but the U.A. Sports Festival. Man, my eyes are itchy. Uh, dry eye. It's annoying. I'll get some eye drops later. Anyways. Deku and Todoroki are sparring as Deku jumps away, avoiding like a thing of ice. As Todoroki at this point is starting to like get really cold. Like, you know, hypothermia. As Deku's just like, use a bit of the fire to bring your temperature back up. I don't need you falling out on me. I need you at as high as you can go, Todoroki, alright? As he just sort of, as Deku shakes off some of the ice that's on him as well. As he used his strength and a bit of the wind pressure he's able to produce with one for all, bat away those giant glaciers. Deku decides that maybe they should take a break as they just sit down and just are in peaceful silence. As Deku's just like, <sighs> and at this point, Deku has actually met Fu Fu Fuyumi. Yeah, as she made lunch for him, as you know. That's how she is. She's like, what food? He's like, yes, please. As they ate a nice lunch. As Deku's talking, or, or is trying to get Todoroki to talk more about sort of ideas for new moves and how to use it more properly. Deku says he doesn't understand the whole thing of channeling eyes and fire. Sort of asks Todoroki, what does it feel like? To be able to use it. As Todoroki's just like. It's like. Hmm. Like. As he's just like. What does it. What does it feel like when you know. You drop. Like make the giant glaciers. Or heat up like. In, like an inferno flame. That, as Todoroki's thinking about this. He's like. It's like. You have snowballs in one hand, and you're cooking with the other, by grill. As Deku's just like, that is a weird way to say temperatures. It's like, well, it's like you scoop your hand in ice, like in water, like cold freezing water, and like throw snowballs like right after that is what's like using my ice. For my fire, it's like I'm by a s grill that's turned on to a highest level. And then I throw... Not throw necessarily, more like... I... 
Hmm. I can't find, think of a good analogy for that one. So, you don't know what it really feels like? It's just like, it's just like you're standing by a really hot grill, then you just thrust your arm forward and air comes out, really. She's like, huh. That is interesting, I'll say. It's like, what's it like for you, Deku? Hmm? You got that massive body of yours and, like, some things about crocodiles, right? He's like, well, I feel stronger, but I also have, like, urges. It's like, what do you mean? It's like, oh, I like, I want to be in the water. And just, sometimes I get the urge to hunt, you know? Like, hide. You know how crocodiles hunt, right? The water's like, yeah, they hide by creeks and such and, like, wait by the water. He's like, I've had instances where I was going hungry, or I got hungry, that that's one of the things that came to mind, is lie and wait for something to pass by. Did you ever eat? He's like, I never ate anyone, Todoroki. And he's just like, I would eat rats. He's like, Deku. What the heck? It's just like, I was a growing boy, alright, it was hard to keep me fed. It's like, technically, I was underweight when I was a kid. She's like, what? It's like, yep, underweight severely. My body need a lot of mass. So, I, we didn't, we grew. The, as Deku has been clear about, like, a little bit about how he had to run off again to, like, just to survive... As he actually told Todoroki that story a bit, it's like, so, you had to eat, like, bugs and such? He's like, whatever I could get to fill the void. I would even eat out trash cans if I had to. Always something there, Todoroki. Remember that. Always try to be resourceful. It's just like, so, eating out of dumpsters? He's just like, hey, if you gotta do what you gotta do. She's just like, would you rather I snatch somebody up off the street? As Todoroki's like, fair point. She's like, yeah, fair point. I'm not going to go eating people. People taste bad. She's like, I thought you just said you didn't eat anyone. I said, I just never said I didn't taste anyone. She's like, Jack, what happened? And he's just like, do you want to know really or do you want to keep it a secret and may remain ominous? It's like, Todoroki's, stop thinks and says we'll get back to that at a later date he's like crap so Deku takes his option to well actually not really they just sit and talk like sort of bonding a little bit Deku doesn't want to like pry too deeply but Deku sort of just asks so since I told you a bit about my past why don't you tell me a bit about yours? As, De as Toroki essentially just says, My father's trained me for my entire past so far. I don't really got anything outside of... Training and trying to... Be a hero. It's just like, Is that what you really want to be? It's just like... As Toroki sits and thinks, he's like... My mom and I would watch all my people like that. I want to be something bright for them to follow. Know that it would be alright when they heard me. Or when they saw me. As Todoroki isn't totally over his little thing with Endeavor. So now he's opening up a little bit to Deku. Since he's, he, in his mind, Deku has always been somewhat upfront. Deku doesn't like to hide his past. The only thing he really does hide is the woman that, like, Josephine. He, She's, like, one of the few things he'll, like, keep to himself, really. But that isn't because he doesn't want people to know about her. It's just that it's painful to bring her up. As Deku's talking with Todoroki about his mother... <sighs> Endeavor walks over and is like, why aren't you training? And she's like, we're taking a break, Endeavor. She's like, huh. Breaks. How long have you been on break for? He's like, Fumi just gave us his food. As Deku says, it is this is our training session endeavor. 
Please do not bother us. As Endeavor just sort of gives a little scowl, and she's like, Phew. You're not even a match for my Shoto anyway. It's just like, and Shoto's just like, Dad, I'm pretty sure he's a match for you. Watch it. As Deku's just like, Todoroki, what are you doing? He's just like, shut up. He's like, quiet, Deku. He's just like, huh. as if that brat could be a match for me. As Deku doesn't really have a lot of pride, he's just like, I don't need his approval. Uh, he's just, as he gives a little prayer, he's like, please, God, don't let Endeavor take whatever bait Todoroki's throwing out. He's like, yeah, I'm willing to bet Deku can maybe even go toe-to-toe -to -toe with All Might, something you can't even do. And Deku's just like, why, Lord? As Endeavor's just like, <sighs> he just sort of snarls, he's just like, get in the ring, kid. My son seems to think very highly of you. Or very low of me. Let's see which one is proven right. As Deku's just like, can we not? There's no point to it, Endeavor. She's like, ah, come on. Fighting against the number two hero would still prove beneficial to you. If anything. As Deku's just like, ah. all right. As Deku gets into a stance. As Deku's trying to remember the things about Endeavor's like very hot fire, able to throw it, make things that can penetrate through my hide, most likely, and some more destruct moves he can't really use around here. So, as Deku's like, do I have permission to use my quirk and my, or do I have permission to fight with you, Endeavor? As Deku. They have cameras around the man at the little house, and Devers just like permission is granted, as he's just like, all right, we got it on tape. At least I won't be sent to jail if anything comes about about this. As Deku gets ready, as he sort of uh, gets low, almost he gets very low, almost like in the stance of a wrestler. As Deku is just saying, "Come on, Endeavor, make my day." Sorry for that, Yon. Deku's just ready. Just raring to go. So that way he can just tackle Endeavor. And take him to the ground. As Endeavor is knows a bit about martial arts. But his knowledge about it isn't the best. Like, he isn't... Like, a god at, like, wrestling. Or Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Since he's typically able to overpower most people. And his other skills with martial arts are a bit rusty since he hasn't really come into anything that really warrants using it that he hasn't, like a villain, he just hasn't blasted away with Hellflame. So Deku essentially is just prepared as Endeavor goes to throw a thing of fire at him. Deku tanks it, gets in close, is able to grab, get like a, is able to go grab both of Endeavor's legs. On the hamstrings, essentially. As he lifts him up and, dr like, sort of drives him into the ground. Like, he lifts him up and just slams him into the ground. As Endeavor actually coughs up about this, he's just like, Oh, prick! Kid's stronger than he looks! As he's able to successfully get on top of Endeavor and just starts waylaying on him. Trying to make sure to keep Endeavor's arms, like, one of Endeavor's arms pinned at most times. Like, with his knee or leg. To try and, like, keep one arm out of the game. Zendeku is just waylaying on him. Just giving Endeavor a bunch of free punches. Endeavor moves his head out of the way for one punch. As he just opens his mouth and lets out a little bit of a gout of flame from his mouth. I would just say, like, like br f breathing fire as it hits Deku in the face. As Deku moves off top of him. Trying to make sure to get... Like, rubbing his eyes, making sure his eyes or anything that can get hurt. Endeavor takes his opportunity to move in closer. He just draws his, like, gathers hot, like, a higher degree of fire on his hands. Deku move, tries to dodge out of the way, as Endeavor is showing a pretty good to at least being able to strike pretty well with his fist. As Deku is watching this, he's, like, moving out of the way. He goes in and sort of tanks one of the hits as he grabs Endeavor by the arm 
and sort of throws him over his shoulder, similar to how Deku would do in the first beginning. But instead of, like, you know, just lifting him sort of, like, straight in the air, Deku throws him over his shoulder and sort of falls down with it as he tries to elbow Endeavor into the stomach as he falls down. As it succeeds, as Endeavor's just like, <coughs> Deku then throws Endeavor as Endeavor's trying to recover because he's been blasted in the stomach a couple of good times. Deku rushes at him. Grabs him like in a headlock and tries to like pretty much just choke him out. As Endeavor increases the flames, as Deku's just like, frick, that hurts. As Deku just starts squeezing even more, as Endeavor's just like, he's choking me out. As he's trying to grip onto Deku's arm, as he starts using his hell flame a bit more, sort of burning Deku's arm, as Deku's just like, Ugh. As he lets Endeavor go, but then quickly just punches him in the liver. And then turns Endeavor around and headbutts him hard. As Endeavor is a bit starting to overheat a little bit. As Deku takes his opportunity and just kicks him in the leg. Endeavor's off balance. As I'm trying to make it seem that and Deku is very good, is a good fighter. And a very good, like a tough opponent. So he's able to hold his ground against number one and uh, number two. But neither he or Deku are really going all out in this confrontation. It's just like a, at most, Endeavor's flames are going to be at least at like 25 to maybe even 40% of how hot they can get. And Deku's activating like 10% of one for all. Just so they don't destroy the little house. Like they're keeping it with inside the ring. And, De and Endeavor isn't using like. Like spot the hell spider. Or prominence burn or anything like that. It's more or less very low key. Fighting match. As Fumi saw. Like actually was, was walking by. And looked at the cameras. And she's like what the hell are they doing. As she rushes over. She's like Shoto what happens like. I go to dad into fighting Deku. It's just like, why'd you do that? Because it's funny and I want dad to actually be humbled. She's like, what? You think he can do it? Well, as she looks over, she sees at this point, this is when Deku has Endeavor in the headlock and Endeavor's burning his arm. She's like, Shoto, why'd you do this? Like I said, he needs to be humbled and Deku can do it. But I don't know why Deku isn't going much farther with his powers. She's like, oh, they probably don't want to destroy a house, Todoroki. Oh, uh, Shoto. He's like, yeah, good point. As Deku, like I said, like has kicked Endeavor in the leg. And now he's off balance. So what Deku does is he grabs him, sort of like with a bear hug. And suplexes him onto the ground. And gets on top of Endeavor one last time. And Endeavor is like goes to throw up his hand to try and counter Deku. Deku slams his fist down and knocks out Endeavor. As Deku's just like, damn. As he sort of feels around his body. As several scales and parts of his skin are darker from like almost being charred. Deku's just like, damn. That's going to leave a scar. As Todoroki's like, you okay, Deku? He's just like... This was a bad idea, Todoroki. <sighs> well, hopefully Endeavor will be humbled a little bit. He's just like, ah, that probably wouldn't happen. He'll probably just grow more irate. And Seku's just like, most likely. He's just like, sorry for you and me for giving you a fright. She's like, no, it's fine. Can you help me carry him to... As I'll say, they have a little room like set up for... When they need to rest or something from training. Deku just sort of hefts Endeavor on his shoulder. And just starts walking behind a Fuyumi. Todoroki's just like. Uh, it's good to see he's finally been put in his place. As Fuyumi's like. God Shoto. You know this could have ended badly. As Deku's just like. Oh, she's right De Todoroki. You know that right. She's like. Oh shush. Let me have my moment. As Todoroki is actually smiling a bit. It actually gives a bit of a chuckle. As Fumi's like, hmm, last first time I've heard him laugh in a while. As Deku's just like, 
I guess you have a point. Well, we'll see what happens when Endeavor wakes up. And that's when I'm gonna be where I'm gonna be ending it off. I hope you guys enjoy this. Hope you guys continue to enjoy this. And well, I'm happy. The Omni's Rouge is finally back after being gone for so so long. I'm happy he's back. I I really enjoy his stuff. And if you guys are new to my channel, I would actually recommend you go watch his stuff too. Some of the my favorite stuff you have ever watched him, you know, do or listen to him. Also, he's got a nice voice, and I love how he talks about what ifs and how he does them. He's very cool. Anyways, guys, hope you guys continue to enjoy this. Hope you guys enjoy this. Hope you guys continue to enjoy this, and I hope you guys have a nice day, nice night, nice life.